Life was very normal uh, up until about the age of 14. You know, I didn't have gunshots going uh, around my neighborhood at night. I didn't have crack being sold in my house, nothing too extreme. I had a pretty normal life. Uh, when I was about 14 though, my mother divorced my father and basically left me and my brother and my dad alone. She went off drinking, met a new man, really disappeared from my life and picked up some pretty bad habits. And while she was gone, it wasn't until about a year later, uh, my father passed away in a motorcycle accident. And so it was completely unexpected. My father was here and he was gone and he was the sole provider for me and my older brother. Uh, so my brother came and told me at school, hey, our dad got in a motorcycle accident and he's no longer with us. Um, this crushed me, but it also uh, somehow hurt my mom. My mom was not even with my dad anymore, but she actually tried to commit suicide. She got addicted to drugs really bad. So did my older brother. My older brother started doing pills and I was left kind of to fend for myself. I uh, had really no house to live in. I was just living with friends on couches, kind of like skateboarding to school in the same dirty clothes I wore the day before. And of course, by the time I turned 16, I started doing drugs myself. I lived in Florida and drugs were really bad in the, the town I lived in. And actually it was at the height of the pill mill problem, which is Florida was manufacturing prescription pills like crazy. People were coming from all over the country to come and get cheap prescription pills from Florida. So my brother's on drugs, my mom's on drugs, and I am fending for myself. I ended up dropping out of high school and started selling drugs. Went from weed to prescription pills, and by the time I was 18, I was a full-blown drug addict. I was making like two or three grand a week uh, because I would drug traff. I would take drugs from uh, Gainesville, Florida to Savannah, Georgia, a couple hundred pills at a time. I was making two or three grand a week, and my life was terrible, but actually it was probably better than a year before when I was basically homeless and poor and all alone. Uh, but even though I was partying, I had money, I was, I was kind of the man that always had the pills and the weed, um, I got busted. Someone told on me and I was arrested in Savannah, Georgia. So I ended up getting a couple uh, drug charges, felonies for that charge and got sentenced to 14 months with 10 years probation. While I was out waiting to go to court, I got arrested twice more for theft and I got a grand theft charge as well. Uh, while doing my 14 months, I got my GED and when I got out, I moved to Columbus, Ohio. Uh, basically, since then, I've broke all the bull crap that people told me I was going to come back because I had too much probation. It was going to make me come back to prison or like never be able to find a good job. You can't do anything except for sell drugs. Like once you have a felony, you have to commit crimes, uh, you know. <clears throat> It is much harder to be successful when you have a criminal record. But since I got out, I did go on to get my bachelor's degree in business administration from the Ohio State University, which I'm very proud of. I also started my own business. I published my book, Grit, How to Get a Job and Build a Career with a Criminal Record. And I'm doing a lot of other great things. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I still have multiple felonies on my record, but it hasn't stopped me and it shouldn't stop you either. Uh, that's just a little highlight of my journey, and I hope that you hang out and follow some of my uh, avenues, such as the blog and the podcast and YouTube, and stay tuned in for what Background Me Not has. We're constantly giving out free content. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. You can ask me questions on the blog or in the YouTube channel. Thanks again for checking out Background.